that tail just yeah. Novi Tech pipe. Yeah. How you ears? Woo! Oh, 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 oh. I'll tell you straight from the word go, the most important and coolest aspect is not the hybrid or the electric drive, it is our exhaust system and it is just Ferrari said that what they wanted to do with this car is shout out a message that states driving must be fun and that is really my aim today to show exactly that they achieved that that and our exhaust yo this is a different kind of electric oh. system and it's assisting us every time that we change the gear so there's no turbo lag whatsoever and honestly this is so quick Mata, just like back on wow let me quickly get my head around that now we can clearly see some design cues harkening back to the lm250 of the 1960s that wrap around windscreen the prominent a pillars no more pillars after that the haunches the buttresses and of course that vertical rear windscreen it's quite a clever car this actually it has to be, it's new and it's hybrid technology at its best. But in order to see just how clever it is, especially in the aero department, we have to look at the front and think about T. T indeed, because this here is called the tea tray. Basically takes care of the air that hits the car in the front. A lot of that gets sent underneath the car and vortex towards the back gets dealt with at the diffuser. But there are more vents over here at the headline on the inside big air vents the air that goes over the car it gets distributed over these sort of wells towards the side radiators and also the induction for our turbos now, this roof is also quite clever because it's got a rear wing that sets up the air for what happens with it at the rest of the car there's a as ferrari calls it a mobile spoiler that pops up at the back gives you downforce at high speeds and also assists with braking as an air brake the uh, buttresses over here have got little indentations on the sides that basically is in order to prepare the air create a suction from this chimney over here for the hot air coming out of the engine it 
is honestly ripping your eyelids back quick this this is a game changer they've taken the whole rule, rule book and just did, uh, did a burnout on it Here got the massive air vents for the radiators as well as for the turbo inlets and you can see the Novitec pipes over there. Let me know what you guys think about the shape of this because from a certain angle it's super sexy and from another angle it looks just ever so slightly incongruous but I think it's a brave move and for Ferrari to be going into a different design queue. This being smaller than the F8, 50 millimeters, very tight NF10 wheels over here and of course on Novitec Springs this car just running quite a bit lower. We've got a brand new 2.9 litre V6 twin turbo charged engine, a power plant that sits bolted behind me, but it's not alone, it's got an electric motor to assist it. And that confabulation together with our Novitec exhaust system gives you in this car 868 horsepower. Standard, you got 830, 740 torques. I don't know where we're at now, but I can't begin to describe how ridiculous this feels. Fourth gear at two and a half thousand RPM. If I put my boot to it, yes, like, then she wants to go sideways. What? What? And those gorgeous little gurgles of exhaust and turbo whistles oh. when it comes to the exhaust system you generally have some sort of a trumpet that an elephant sat on we've gone and opted for the traditional dual tailpipe these being really large you can actually put a fist in there and we've also redesigned and changed this mesh to fit with it now there's a plethora of options for the exhaust on this 296 gtb and i promise you it is the highlight of this car it's just an impeccable bloody thing <laughs> If you want to have cap replacements or sport cats and so on and so forth flap actuated if you want to see more of that go onto our website novitechgroup.com and have a look at all the goodies now we have to say that this is phase one which is an unofficial term suspension we've got the novitech wheels and the exhaust system phase two we're going to get all the carbon fiber stuff on the car as well as the entronic power upgrade this car having more power than standard because of the exhaust system and it is the best Best sounding exhaust on a V6 that I've ever heard in my life. Not to forget those blackened out little reflectors. So you can put your foot straight into the carpet and she won't let go because they've got a whole bunch of systems in place. You're constantly in bed with something trying to keep you out the wall. Oh, like that. Oh, mother. So there's a new version of the ESSC that's got ETC. I'm getting bored here. Most important of which is something that they call the six-way CDS. That's a, a six-way sensor around this car. Basically gets information and sends it all to a gyroscope that in essence, what it does is it reads into the future and prevents the accident that you haven't yet made. Good thing. Very good thing. 
generally when you used to get a Fiorano package you don't get lift in this car we have fitted lift Fiorano package means that it's a more sport orientated more track orientated version they replace a whole bunch of things with lightweight materials and the doors and the window at the back is not real glass and so on so you save about 12 kilograms and then you've got these fins here on the uh, front lip that gives you about 10 kilograms more downforce in the front all in all actually the downforce created by the entire car at 250 k's an hour 360 kilograms <laughs> That 2.9 twin turbocharged V6 is a 120 degree V6, not a 90 degree, which means it's lying on its back with its legs slightly open. And in there, uh -oh. you've got the mid-mounted turbochargers. The outlet and inlet manifolds sit on top of the engine. You've never seen something like this. The entire exhaust system comes from the top of the engine and then runs towards the back. It is just crazy. Turbochargers are sitting right there on top. Of course, that means that the air doesn't have so far to travel, so you have virtually no turbo lag. Oh, and if you had any, then it would definitely be annihilated by the support of that hybrid system. It's just a constant surge of power shunting you towards the horizon. It's honestly relentless. This is such a good car, and I just spat on the HMI. Oh, she is so quick. <laughs> that whole hybrid system with the battery and the motor and all that only weighs 130 kilograms. The V6 weighs 30 kilograms less than the V8 that you had in the F8. If you take the electric motor by itself, that's I think 7,4 or 6 kilowatt uh, hour battery, and you can drive that for about 25 kilometers just in electric mode. If you go on to a slightly faster road like this one that we are now, you can do 135 k's an hour. In essence, if you wanted to drive this as a daily to work and back, you can do that in electric mode and on the weekends have your combustion engine working. I don't know how you figure out which one did the most mileage by the time you sell it. You drive the car 20,000 kilometers, but then the combustion engine only did 3,000. Do new. The very cool thing about the battery is that you can charge it to full in about two and a half hours even from home or from work. It just becomes so usable and this is so good. The box, if you flick it into auto, it's so usable, it's intuitive and the steering and the ride quality is fantastic. Well, let's get to the performance figures. <laughs> 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds, 0 to 200 in 7.3, wipe your eyes with that please. Top speed 330 kilometers powered. In this car we haven't done anything apart from the springs, the wheels, those NF10s and then of course this complete race exhaust system but that already gives it so much more power. <laughs> Todd, a nice room inside. How are your ears? Oh, 118.9. In phase two, we are going to add a lot more carbon fiber, the whole carbon fiber package, as well as some new goodies that you'll see then very, very soon. And then, of course, the Entronic power upgrade, which I predict north of 900. <laughs> Here's the cool thing. I mean, that's pretty damn cool, isn't it? The versatility in this sort of SF90 hybrid 2.0 is just 
it's it's doable it's daily doable you got two manantinos where you used to have the one on the right hand side which we all know with race and traction control and kill yourself and all that on the left hand side now you've got a different one which in one case the electric driving or the e-drive which is what we've got now it'll just use your electric motor if you go on to the second version that's h4 hybrid then it's going to drive in electric mode but when the bullies of physics come along and give you bloody nose then the combustion engine is going to pop into life to save you if we go over that oh there she jumps into life that's the flag let's check it flag that means we're ready for business but it's reserving 50 horsepower to uh, really just have it when you really need it how's it ready it's lovely how people are just so friendly when you're driving a car like this not and then you've got the little stopwatch it's just full bean. We're going to leave that mode because we're driving in between cows and a fence. We'll just use the hybrid mode. This interior feels fantastic. The HMI in this car is basically everything that was unacceptable in the SF90 in the Roma is what this doesn't have much of. And then everything that it did have is that which you not to worry about living with. A couple of other things that they needn't do really is make other buttons electric, to open the doors electric, to open the plug for plugging your power in is electric, to open the fuel cap is electric, save the electricity to boost you when you're changing gears with your combustion engine. <laughs> Ride quality in this car, superb. Even with the Novitec Springs, this being the Fiorano package, slightly lighter, slightly harder, slightly track orientated, very track orientated actually. I mean, look at these seats. You don't have that and go shopping, nah. Run, run, run. Oh, <laughs> feel that tail just, oh. You guys hear the, the turbo whistles? <laughs> Steering sublime. Can't really fault it. Brakes, superb. Big carbon ceramic brakes. And then of course there's some regen assisting, putting that power back into the battery. Oh. And you got that massive mobile Spoilers, Ferrari calls it. Oh, all jump there. How's it? How's it? Shopping a tree. Thanks, mate. <laughs> you get people that do think it's cool. Oh, oh is this brutal, eh? When I wrote the story for this car, at the bottom, I normally have a pile for the verdict. So I left that open. I wanted to let the car tell me the story and I could tell you hands down that this is definitely one of the most exciting cars. I don't want to go back to the office right now. It's just so exciting to drive this. I can't wait for the complete Novitec version. That video is going to come and it's going to be relentless. Speaking of videos to come, I'm going to right now after this, go and do the POV of this car. <laughs> Remember, not 830, 868 horsepower is what this car with a Novitec exhaust is giving you at the moment. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and if you want to see more then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> so, 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 so good. If you want to follow us on Instagram, then you can follow me personally at Beyond the Cop, Novitech, Novitech Group. And if you want to see some of the parts already available for this very compact 50 millimeters shorter than the F8 little pocket rocket from Ferrari, hybrid gone perfect, check out our website. That's uh, Novitech.com, NovitechGroup.com. It's been splendid. See you guys in the next one. Ciao. Love you. So I keep to myself I feel like I'm falling In and out of consciousness Yeah Now we starting to talk Let's kill all the progress Really hard to process You treat me like an object Baby, we toxic Can we stay on top?